Martin, Harold Green, and Henry DiCarlo with weather. You're watching KCAL 9 News at 4. And a simple new device unveiled here in Southern California that could save the lives of stroke victims. There's much more to come. Stay with us. Well, it's a simple device, but it could be a lifesaver. KCAL's Health Watch reporter Dilva Henry explains how the brain stent works. Most people know all too well the dangers of cholesterol or plaque buildup in the arteries of the heart. It can lead to heart disease or a heart attack and death. But what happens when an artery in your brain gets clogged? Well, that artery becomes diseased with a condition known as intracranial atherosclerotic disease, or ICAD. There are about 700,000 stroke cases a year in the United States, and intracranial atherosclerotic disease is the cause of 10% of them, so about 70,000. Dr. George Rapard is a neuroendovascular surgeon at Glendale Adventist Medical Center. He says ICAD is of grave concern because it involves larger arteries in the brain, and a resulting stroke is usually much more serious, more damaging if the patient survives. Up until now, we really haven't had an effective way of treating intracranial atherosclerotic disease. But now, this tiny little stent is stacking the odds in the patient's favor. A stent is simply a wire mesh tube that holds an artery open. This one, called the wingspan brain stent, is similar to a cardiac stent, but much smaller. These brain arteries are paper-thin arteries that are two and a half to three millimeters in diameter. This stent is such a technological breakthrough because it's a super small stent down to 2.5 millimeters that actually opens on its own and expands on its own in a very gentle fashion so you don't traumatize the brain artery. Using a catheter as shown here, doctors insert the stent through the groin area. And here's an animated look at the wingspan stent as it arrives in the designated area of the brain, swells in place, pushing aside plaque. It holds the artery open, allowing blood to flow freely, preventing a stroke. Glendale Adventist Medical Center is the first hospital in California to use the wingspan stent. And while doctors call it a big technological leap forward, they say the key is getting patients in before they have a stroke so the stent can be put in place. Stroke symptoms... Weakness on one side of their body or the other, problems with their vision, problems speaking, droopy face. Dr. Rapard is also urging other doctors to be more aggressive about testing for an impending stroke. Really what doctors need to do and just be very thorough in their work in the workup of stroke and not just stop with the arteries in the neck or stop with an MRI of the brain or start or stop with an echocardiogram, but actually look at the arteries of the brain. Dilva Henry, KCAL 9 News. Pretty cool, huh? Fascinating. Yeah. <laughs>